Hi guys, good afternoon. This is Ron again from Wapinas.com and we're doing the review for the Kata C2. Okay, So uh, we finished with the unboxing and initial impressions. Uh, I think it was last week or two weeks ago. And so now we're doing the review for the Kata C2. Okay, um, <clears throat> just a quick recap um, about the, the specifications for the Kata C2. It's a quad-core phone using an MTK 6580A uh, 1.3 GHz chipset. Uh, it has a 1 GB RAM and 8 GB ROM. It runs on the Android Marshmallow 6.0. It uses a 5 megapixel front camera with a flash. Okay, I'll show you later. And an 8 megapixel camera, a uh, 13 megapixel camera for the back. Um, According to them, this uh, the glass cover is Gorilla Glass. Okay, the battery capacity is two thousand six hundred milliampere. So we're gonna open it. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, uh, there you can you see it? There two thousand. Wow, ah, it's blurred. Okay, let me focus. focus. Okay. It's not focusing. Okay, anyway. It's a 2600 milliampere battery. Okay. Um, it doesn't use a SIM tray uh, since it's a removable battery. It has a dual SIM slot. Um, SIM one use using a micro S micro SIM. Okay, and SIM two. Let's check. Okay. Uh, uses I guess a nano sim okay let's try it out yeah. okay. yes it uses a nano sim but for the sim 2 you need to choose either you put a secondary sim or a micro SD card I would suggest you put in a micro SD card okay We're turning it on um you might see there's a button here this is not a fingerprint sensor um i'll tell you more about it later um the headset jack is on the top left all the buttons the power buttons left and um the, and the volume buttons up and down is on the right side and the micro sd jack or port is in the bottom in the middle with a speaker for the loudspeaker Okay, um, since this doesn't, have an, uh, this doesn't have a fingerprint sensor, it's more a pattern or pin lock that you can use. Um, what I've seen for the bot button in the back is there's two functions. One is if it's, you're outside, you press it, it increases the volume of the phone. Okay. okay. And the second one is for taking pictures. Okay, if you press the button in the back, it takes pictures. Okay, same with the front. Oh, you're seeing the mess of the house. Okay. Um, I've tested it done too already. It's. 23,000. 812 okay it's a dual touch screen okay see okay the settings okay uh, it also has a smart settings a limited smart settings setup um smart light okay i haven't tried that later we'll try it and gesture operation for smart uh, waking up the screen okay um what you do when you tap it or you you make the gestures on the screen on what it should do okay we'll try the double tap yeah so it turns on double tap yeah, it turns on okay Let's go back to the settings. 
So everything is the usual uh, settings that you'll find inside the Anikata device. Um, storage and USB. Since this is an 8 gig ROM phone, um, the free that you have is you'll have about uh, what's this? 3.72. So, out of the eight, you get about uh, five gig left, and I have about one point twenty-two gig left uh, after all the things that I installed. <coughs> okay, and the Antutu I've been able to show you the pictures. Well, um, the picture quality for a thirteen megapixel uh, camera. This is a front the selfie. This is the back of the camera. So, um, so far it looks good. Um, and based on the tests I've done on the the, the games like uh, Walking War Robots um, and City Driving HD, um, so far the the phone doesn't heat up that quickly. And the price for this one, the Kata C2, is at three thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Um, but since it's only running at one gig gram, I wouldn't suggest um, you doing a lot of work here. So basically, this would be great for uh, watching Netflix, yeah, FB, uh, Facebook browsing, uh, browsing your pictures, um, and light games. Okay, Don't play any of those uh, high resolution games that need a lot of, of RAM or memory. But... For the size it has and the specs and the price, it's still worth the price. Uh, the build is nice and solid. Um, I like the feel and the grip. It's not that slippery. Okay. Um, although it's a unibody, um, the back is plastic and the corners seem to be metallic edge. So be careful if you have other phones with you in, in your same pocket. You might scratch them because of the metal casing. Um, I guess the, the best feature that this phone has is this is probably one of the few phones in the market right now that actually has a flash for the selfie. See? So that's it for the Kata C2 review. Um, I would recommend this if you are on a budget and want a phone that has a very big screen it's a 5.5 inch screen phone um try it out visit any of the kata shops uh, nationwide or kata kiosks it's only 3999 pesos thanks bye